Winning this year's OHL Humanitarian of the Year Award is Owen Sound's Mark Woolley. Mark, congratulations. What does it mean to you to win this award? It's obviously a huge honor, um, you know, to be to be represented on, on a level like this. Um, some some pretty huge names that have that have gotten the award in the past. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, getting an award for, for doing stuff like this is not really what it's all about, but... Um, you know, it's, uh, it's obviously a huge, uh, huge honor. You do amazing things in the community, including raising over $60,000 throughout your OHL career for Diabetes Canada through your initiative, Willie's Warriors. Why is the cause so important to you? Um, I think just because it, it hits so close to home for me. Um, I mean, obviously myself being diabetic and then um, my brother as well and, and some other family members. Um, you know, just, just being able to use my platform to make somewhat of a difference on, on a kid's life, um, you know, is, is really special to me. So, um, even if it's just one kid, I mean, when, when we started, I didn't, I didn't think that, you know, we'd be donating $60,000. So I think we're, our goal was a couple kids a year. And, um, so it's, I mean, it's outstanding to, to what it's come to and, um, you know, very, very thankful for all the support so far. And what made you want to start Woolies Warriors? Uh, I was actually my old captain from my rookie year, Garrett McFadden, um, had McFadden's movement. Um, he's a past winner of, of the Humanitarian Awards. So obviously somebody that, that I've always looked up to. Um, but my rookie season, basically just seeing what, you know, what you could do in the league, not only as a hockey player, but, you know, as a person in the community, um, really kind of opened my eyes. and. Um, then that, I think it was two summers later after I got traded to Owenstown, uh, my media lady, Steph Karate from, from Guelph reached out to me and just kind of asked if, you know, um, you know, I'd still be interested in doing something like this because we chatted about it briefly. But once I got traded, I kind of thought it was all at the window. And, um, you know, so if it wasn't for her reaching out to me, I mean, we, we probably wouldn't be here today. So um, my face is, is on the front of all of it, but there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. So, And what further motivates you to keep serving the community? Um, I think just, just seeing the faces on, on the kids, you know, when, when you get the opportunity to give back. I mean, I know when I was a little kid looking up to, you know, players like Max Domi and, um, you know, I mean, him being diabetic, but anybody in the OHL, like I would go to Knights games all the time growing up and, if I could get a fist bump like that, that made my whole week. So um, just just being able to to give back, I think, in any way um, goes a long way for, for kids, especially. I mean, we're ultimately still kids, majority of us playing in this league. But, um, you know, we, we got to realize that we're, we're role models in our community. So um, the more we do, the, the better it is for sure. And shifting over to hockey now, you just finished your overage year in Owen Sound. A solid year for the attack, lots of new young talent on the team. What are your overall thoughts on the team's performance this year? Yeah, really, really proud of the boys. I mean, um, I think it was, it was a little bit of a roller coaster of a season. Um, we didn't really know what to expect going into it. But, um, you know, after after the deadline, once once things were kind of set in stone, you know, this is the squad we're going to have for the rest of the year. Um, we went through a little bit of a tough spell in that eight game losing streak. And, um, but I mean, good, good teams find ways to get through adversity like that. And then after that, uh, we became one of the hottest teams in the league for the rest of the season. So, um, I mean, really, really special group for, for the default, for the calling coming years for those guys. I mean, obviously unfortunate, I couldn't have been a part of it with, uh, with that group for a little bit longer, but, um, very proud of you know how how far that young group really developed um, as a whole this year, and um, I'm looking forward to watching them in the future. You played four years in the OHL, missed out on five due to the pandemic. What has been the most fulfilling part for you in the league? I think just the relationships you you get to build with people, um, you know, in in your day to day life, like you're creating a whole other family away from home. Um, you're, you're with your teammates every single day. You're with your coaches, you're your training staff. Um, you know, that, that stuff is the, the stuff that kind of goes unseen. 
Um, but for me, it was the biggest part of it, man. I, I made friendships that are going to last a lifetime um, on, on every single team that I played on. So um, I think that's, that's probably the most, most special thing for me, yeah. And you had the honor of being named captain this season in Owen Sound. What was that experience like for you? Yeah, um, very, very honoring as well. I mean, um, pretty, pretty great list of captains, especially recently. I mean, you know, Nick Suzuki, um, a lot of other great, like Bobby Ryan, a lot of great captains there. So um, to be to be on that wall with them, obviously, it's it's pretty pretty special feeling. Um, I was honored. I got the the privilege to lead that that young team and. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't have wanted my uh, my career to finish any other way. So really, really glad it worked out that way. Well, Mark, congratulations again on winning this year's OHL Humanitarian of the Year Award. I wish you the best success in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much.